Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ancient Wisdom Today Meditation Wednesdays. Ow! These meditations are so lit. I mean, you know, every time Stephanie and I create these meditations, I go and do them, and I go into the most amazing experiences, and so I'm just so happy, so, so happy to share these meditations with you, and so is Sefi. Um, you can check out Sefi's website at www.healingwaves.com. That's H-E-A-L-I-N-G-W-A-V-E-S-S.com. And if you want to purchase any of the amazing things that he sells, um, you can put in the code LIT and you can get um, percentage off all of his magical items. So I'm so excited. If you got your tachyon rods, or if you have crystals, or if you don't have any of that, please lay down, find a place that's comfortable, and take a deep breath. Activate your crystals or your tachyon rods by simply saying, I activate the energy source that's in my hand to go through my body and clear energies as I'm going through this meditation. Increase in power as the meditation is expanding me into higher levels of consciousness. And for those of you who just want to keep it short and sweet, just simply say, I activate the power source in my hand to activate through this meditation. If you don't have tacky on um, illumination rods or crystals to hold, that's okay. But at some point, uh, I suggest you get those illumination rods, even the smaller ones, because they're really powerful and they increase your light body. So I want you to take a deep inhalation and exhalation and breathe close your eyes and just feel into your body feel into your body feel into your spine feel into your bones where are your bones at in your body feel into them feel into your organs where your organs are located and just feel into them and feel into all parts of your body your breath feel into your breath is your breath breathing deeply is it short? Is it being held? If it's being held, take the breath. Guide your body. Good, and just breathe. Inhale and exhale. And see yourself now getting really, really, really big. Really big. So big that you're outgrowing through your body. There's this powerful spirit that is growing past your body. And notice the expansion inside of your body and the way the energy feels. And then as you get really, really big, notice that you become so big that you become bigger than the place that you're in and bigger than the city you're in and then in the world and in the universe. And then you go into other dimensions and you end up in another dimension as this really powerful giant. This powerful giant that's in this world because you've transcended your consciousness into higher levels. And as you are going into this world, notice the path that's in front of you. There are three paths in front of you. The first path, on the front of the path, there is a beautiful statue of an egg. The second path, there is a statue of a sword and the third path, there is a statue of a tree. Which one do you choose to go down? Good. Make your decision. You can always come back and visit this sacred place. And as you're passing down this path, notice the sounds that you hear and how they make you feel. The path that you are on connects directly to the statue that you just passed. Notice the feelings that are coming up in you as you are going down this path. And look around you and notice what you see. Where are you? Look above you, look around you. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. Good. And then as you notice, there is a ring 
And in that ring, there are three rings. The first ring is the ring of fire. The second ring is electricity. And the third ring is the ring of water. Which one do you go into? As you go into the ring, I want you to sit in the center and listen to the sound that is coming through the environment towards your body. This journey will bring up whatever that ring needs you to experience in your feelings. Whatever ring you are in, the spirits of that ring will begin to pull up your feelings energies that have been trapped inside of your body, thoughts that have been trapped inside of your mind. So just breathe, inhale and exhale, and center yourself in the center of the ring you've chosen. Good, and breathe, and listen to the sound that is coming through the environment that will last for about 10 minutes as the spirits of that ring will begin to do deep healing on your body. Mm. 
gotten the healing in your body, you are going to go back onto your path. And while you are on your path, there is a beautiful stone temple in front of you. Standing in front of the temple is the person in your life who chose to be one of your guides that is a friend or family member. Notice who's standing in front of the temple. Notice who is your guide. When you were on the other side, you appointed them to look out for you, to give you wisdom, to give you clarity and vision and information and instruction. Just smile at them. Good, and go into the stone temple. Inside the stone temple, there is a circular clearing. And inside that circular clearing, there is a friend or family member who has come to be your challenge and to bring challenge into your life so that you can grow and expand. Notice the face of the person who's standing there looking at you. Good. When you are on the other side, you made an agreement that they would bring challenge into your life to strengthen you, to assist you, in learning how to overcome obstacles, even if their behavior was uncomfortable or unbearable. Look upon the face of that person now and smile. Good. And now go around the circular area. And as you go up the stairways to the other part of the stone temple, Look around and notice how this temple feels. And in the far back, there is a circular triangle, a beautiful circle with a triangle in the center and a chair. And in the chair is you. Look at yourself. For this part of yourself is your shadow. It's the part that holds on to all the things you have not shown up for love 
and taking responsibility for. This part of you welcomes you into the circle and triangle. And as you stand into the circle and the triangle, a chair appears and you sit in it and stare at yourself. As you do, you begin to hear a sound coming through the walls of the temple. This sound is now generating a telepathic communication between you and yourself. You will now begin to communicate to yourself as your shadow who is here holding on all the things that you have not chosen to show up with love for so that it, it can be its original form, which is the light. It has a lot to tell you. So just sit and listen and feel and see for 10 minutes. The sound that is coming through the temple walls will guide you in this conversation.
that you've had this conversation for 10 minutes with your shadow and it has given you all the information through your feelings, through words and your thoughts, and through imagery. You now smile at your shadow and your shadow moves its arms to the left and has you walk through a door. Notice what the door looks like. Open the door and you notice that there is a beautiful bright light, so bright that it's brighter than 20,000 suns bright. Go inside that door. Now that you're inside that door, all you see is white. The sound that is coming through this environment is to bring waves of peace and lift you above the Maya and to bring peace to every cell in your body and unconditional love to every aspect of your being and every cell of your being. Just breathe, inhale and exhale and let the sound that is moving through the environment of this white, bright light begin to infuse you with all of this powerful energy. With every breath you take, you're breathing in this powerful alchemy into your body of unconditional love, peace, relaxation, comfort, security, and being held divinely. This will last for 10 minutes. Breathe.
that you have completed, noticing yourself return to your body by shrinking and getting smaller and smaller and smaller until you're back in your human form, your human size. And now that you're back in your human size, breathe and give yourself a couple minutes to move your hands, your legs, your body. Good. And as you're coming back to your system, moving your toes, moving your feet, feeling your hands and your fingers, your body, you will now learn of the significance of each statue. If you chose the statue with the egg, it means that you are birthing new ideas into the world. And that any person who is creating any limitation in your life by telling you that something can't happen or something's not possible, you must bless them and thank them for revealing your fears that you've been holding and continue with this birthing process. This birthing process is a birthing of many things. This energy source of the egg represents the birthing energy of creation inside of you. New ideas, new experiences that are birthing through you, new ventures, and new life. Since you have chosen the path of the egg, everything right now is healing you to this birth. In birthing anything, there are contractions, birthing pains. However, Spirit is guiding you to let you know that you've overcome all of these things and that it will be easy and effortless if you stay your course. Remain in your heart and breathe through it. Everything is changing for the better in your life. This is a time to begin to write down all of the beautiful things that are coming into your life. Take a piece of paper and write down all the things that are birthing into your life. When you are done doing this, take out the cough, please. When you are done doing this, take the piece of paper, fold it, and put it into the freezer or a place where there is cold. Keep it there. On the 22nd day, take it out and breathe into the paper when you unfold it. After you breathe life into it, I want you to bury it somewhere in the earth with a dried egg that you let, took the yolk out of by drilling a hole into the egg. And then if not an egg, then put it with a white candle on whether you bury it on the earth. And if you cannot bury this note, then keep it with you with a white candle. Good. If you have chosen the path of the sword, this is a time for you to take action, to move swiftly through your life by removing anything that does not feel good out of your path. It's also a time for you to see courage in yourself. And anything that brings you courage is for you to engage in. And that is what the spirits are clearing through your body, through your mind, through your emotions. Anything that's been blocking courage and strength in your being. When you have walked this path, 
It means that you are separating yourself from the things you no longer need. And you are moving with action in your spirit. Your spirit is like fire. It's powerful and it's moving through all of these different dimensions to find the most easiest and clearest path for you to walk on in your life. When you see things going away, smile at it, laugh at it, thank it for leaving. Because this path represents all of your spirit forging the path forward for you for success, for acknowledgement, for leaving legacy and purpose. This is also the path of the leader. And in the beginning, the leader may seem that they're alone. However, you are not. And it is important for you to know that. Good. Now that you understand that, the ritual for you to do is to, for 22 days, wake up every morning and say these words. I download courage into my being. I download leadership into my being. I download discernment into my being. I download power into my being. I download purpose into my being. I download clarity in my being. I download unconditional love into my being. I download rightful action into my being. I download energy into my being. I download life into my being. For 22 days, you wake up every day and say exactly that, to honor the statue of the sword. Good. The other statue that was there was the statue of the tree. The statue of the tree is a powerful statue that requires you to nurture yourself so that you can give to others without sadness or fear or scarcity or depletion. The spirits on this path are clearing out all the things that have been distracting you, limiting you, and holding you back from embracing yourself and delving deeper into yourself for nourishment and recovery. The spirits on this path are opening you up to recognizing that in order for the tree to give so easily and effortlessly and abundantly, the tree must be nourished and well cared for. That is you. Look at every area of your life and ask yourself, are you being nurtured? Are you being cared for? Are you being loved, embraced? Are you being given the sustenance that you need to be successful, to be powerful, to be wise, to be creative, to create prosperity? and to be an excellent giver. If you are not, I need you to take a piece of paper and write down all the things that would replenish you to be able to be prosperous, happy, healthy, free, vibrant, and a giver of life. Write on the top of the piece of paper all the things I need for recovery, rejuvenation, resurgence, and begin writing what those things are. And don't hold back any of it, because the more clarity you have with spirit, the easy it is for spirit to create for you. Spirit always waits for you and your clarity. Good. And what I want you to do for 22 days is I want you to do a loving act ritual. Every day you do something wonderful that's just for you, 
that's nurturing and loving. It could be writing a card to yourself, getting a massage, sitting under a tree and resting, and taking time to nourish yourself with healthy food, exercise, or anything that would bring healing to your being for 22 days. And then after the 22nd day, do something wonderful for someone that is selfless and you will complete the path of the spirit of the tree. Good. Thank you for being a part of today's Meditation Wednesdays. You can follow me on Instagram at Shaman Durek. You can sign up on the newsletter at shamandurek.com and you can get involved in all of the things that are happening as far as leveling yourself up with the Shaman School. And you can also leave uh, what you feel about the meditations in a review on iTunes. Thank you so much. I love you tribe. You're powerful. You're amazing. You're wonderful. You're blissful. You are the light. And I am so thankful that you're on this planet with me at this time. Until next time, I love you, I love you, I love you. See you later, alligator.